Hey, good evening guys. Just going to um, shoot you guys a little video here. Uh, had a little bit of time tonight to work on the Regal. Um, was messing around with uh, trying to set the timing on this thing. So uh, I can mess with the HEI distributor. Um, I'm going to try to get a whole new tune-up kit for it. Um, I did get a new cap and rotor, but I want to get a new coil and um, module for it as well. A uh, higher performance one, it's stock, and I think it's not working too good. So I'm going to find it, uh, put it on top dead center, and then I'm going to take the distributor out and clean everything up, and then I'm going to order the tune-up kit for it, and we should be running good then. So here we go. Okay, so uh, I kind of was messing around with it. I took the cap and cap and rotor off here um, you can kind of see what we have here you can see there's the factory module down there and then the, there's the springs and everything so and the vacuum port there and there's the cap um, so now I'm just I took the fan off um, of it laying down there on the floor um, just to get better access to it it's kind of a pain in the butt to spin this thing over um, I did take the number one um, spark plug out, um, did do that, so now I'm just going to turn it over and um, feel for the um, for the number one cylinder to come up and I'll put in my little tool and we can go from there. So just wanted to give you guys an update. So I'm going to work on that and then I'll um, show a video after I get it done. Okay, so I got the top dead center. I uh, pulled the distributor out. Um, here, I'll show you. This is what it currently looks like. i show underneath the light. Um, but I'm going to replace the um, the module. And then um, I'm actually going to get a tune-up kit. So it'll replace the module, all the weights, the vacuum port, and then also on the cap um, over here, I'm going to get a whole new... Um, coil for the top here um, there's a coil on the top here so I'm gonna get a whole new coil it'll be the I think the 50,000 volt coil um, so here I actually pulled the one valve cover off because I was having a tough time trying to get this to top dead center so I pulled the valve cover off you can see there so I got that all working good so here you can see has an Edelbrock carburetor with an Edelbrock intake. Uh, you can see that I did the uh, heater, took out the heater and the AC, so it doesn't even have the condens or the. Uh, I guess that's what the condenser or something, whatever that is in the front. I took that out. Um, here's the Edelbrock um, cover. So, just a little bit of wiring here. I'm gonna eliminate I was just actually starting to look at that um, so I got the interior done and I'm happy with it except for the center console piece so I was trying to work on this a little bit and I also ordered I don't know where it's at but I ordered this old, like a month or so ago I'm still waiting for it um, it's a, a metal line that'll come down here and kind of go under here and it'll have a fuel filter I think it's the Edelbrock, it's the black. Um, I actually have the kind of piece here to mount to the to the regular rubber gasket. So I already bought this, it, that, this came from Jegs, but the other, I think it might be on back order or something, so I'm still waiting for that. Um, so we're just gotta do that yet. Um, so other than that, um, I think I might call it for quits for tonight. Um, so I just wanted to give you an update on what I got done. I'm probably going to clean up my tools here and um, shove a rag down in the in the hole there. Just so it doesn't get de debris and stuff in there and um, call it quits. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Regal. So here we go. Bye. Hey guys, just wanted to let you know um, I was processing the video and I completely forgot to say why I even took the distributor out. Um, I noticed that when I was... Um, Moving it around, it, the uh, the end play on where the gear matched to the cam, it had a lot of end play there. So I figured I might as well take it out, that way I can see if the gear's bad or if it needs worn or 
needs a shim, uh, some shims on it. So I took it out just based on that and I brought it into my work. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, equipment around me that I can use. We, we kind of do, uh, we build CNC grinders and uh, then we um, use automation robots and stuff to automate them. Um, so here I'll show you exactly what I'm working on here. So here we go. Okay, so here here's a distributor. I kind of was I tore it all apart and then cleaned it up a little bit. Um, here's the this the module that was on it. It's just a standard module from GM. Here's the wiring and I think that's the capacitor there. Then here's the vacuum for it. So I took everything apart and just cleaned it up. But um, what I was trying to say here is this, if you can see this um, gear right here has a lot of play in it. And from reading online and stuff there, people are saying that it should have between 10 and 20 thou thousands, I believe, of, uh, of movement, movement. And that's um, basically you want that um, for expansions and things of that sort. So um, I, it's over that it's a, I put it on my uh, my feeler gauge and it was um, 70 so um, I'm gonna get some shims here and then the shims will here if you can see here the shims will go in here and then you'll shim it that way the the gear gets pressed down um, so it just needs that and then also I'm gonna get the module that's gonna go right here and um, this everything else looks really good um, the springs, I might see if I can get different springs. I'm not sure if these are what I need or not, but um, that's currently what it, what was in it. In the vacuum, um, I might see if I can get a new one of those, but everything else looks pretty good. Um, and yes, I did say in the, in the video that I'm going to get a new coil, one of the blaster coils or flamethrowers or whatever um, coil I'll probably get, and then I can put this back in there. So I just wanted to kind of update and explain why I took the the um, the, the distributor off. So thank you.